In QGIS, it's really easy via the data source manager to add a delimited text file if it's got X and Y coordinates in it. But if your data is in something like Excel, it's a bit different. So let's look at an Excel file that we have coordinates in that we want to map. So here's the data that I want to map. And note that row one's got all the column headings and then we have loads of data. In column X and Y, we have Ordnance Survey, Eastings and Northings. These are just map coordinates, but they're in British National Grid format. Often you'll just see these as decimal degrees, like 50 degrees north, one degree east and so on. So we've got the data, it's nice and neat, that's fine. What we'll want to do in QGIS is make sure we've hit the processing toolbox button. And what we want to do here is use create points layer from table to import the Excel file and see it plotted on a map. So I'll double click this to initiate the tool. The input layer here, I am going to search for it and it's in my files folder. Click open. It's actually a train station usage data for Great Britain. The X field, always difficult to remember, but X is easting. X, X defines eastness or westness. The Y field is northern because it goes from north to south. And then the target CRS. Now, if your data was in decimal degrees, like 50 degrees north, two degrees east, the CRS would be WGS84. But I know in my case, the data is in British National Grid format. So I'm going to choose that. So just be sure that you get this right. If you didn't get it right, it would still plot, but the dots would be in the wrong place. I'm going to save this to a new file. So if I, if I don't type anything in here, it'll still work. It'll just be a, a temporary layer that will disappear when you close QGIS. So I'll save it to a geo package and I'll just call it ORR rail stations. And click save. You get this little output thing. I usually just copy the layer name that I've just written in into that box and click OK. And then we'll hit run. And there we have it. That's our new data set. This is all the railway stations in Great Britain. And quick check on how many. We right click, show feature count, and we have 2,570. So that's how you can get your data into QGIS if it's in a table in something like Excel format, and you've got coordinate data in separate columns.